and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Well, last time around, Rita was rescued, so we are now down to three survivors. And Annette proposed to Emmeline, which I must admit I didn't see coming, but that's all good with me. Um, I need to have a quick look at activities. I believe I still have Jack on scavenging. And we don't need him doing that, really. Um, right now, we need him doing things like repairing, uh, which he's going off to do now. Maybe resetting the traps from this um, aggressive animal raid that we had. There's quite a few traps there that need to just be reset. Haven't bothered um, harvesting all of this meat because if you look in our cool room here, uh, we just have a lot of meat. We'll never get through it. Absolutely no way we'll get through all of that. There's a ton of stuff all over the floor. Well, we've got a lot of um, laser pikes for some reason. Did I set up a crafting thing incorrectly? Yeah, we can get rid of that. Uh, pulse rifle we'll never need. Power cells and electronics. Um, maybe power cells they could work on. Railgun sniper, CPU cores. We've got 14 of those in stock, so they should be next. Okay. Well, that'll keep Annette busy for a while. Jack's sort of running back to handle the furnace. I do wonder who will be doing the garden um, now that Rita is not around. Um, harvesting, they're all pretty low priority. Emmeline is the better person for the harvesting, so maybe I'll put her up to two on that. Yeah, and I might knock her down on crafting, actually. So we get her to pick up the farming as well as the cooking. Because so we've got a lot of meals in stock. Yeah, we've got 20 emergency rations. And uh, quite a few just normal cooked meals, so they should be fine. I think we can spare Emmeline for a little bit of uh, gardening. What are you running off to do, Jack? You transporting some insect meat, maybe? Yep, looks like you are. Oh, it's so quiet and sort of empty here now. Interesting. And Annette is now assembling those power cells. I guess that's the best thing for her to do because in case we have any catastrophic failures, we can replace things. Um, one of these batteries, look at this. I guess that was just a, a repair that was needed. Yeah, we, we're, we're good. We're producing way more than we're consuming, so... Feel good. I don't think I want to send anyone out on an expedition at any point. Jack doesn't like the cramped room there. We're dealing with the furnace. Yeah, we need to keep that metal stock up. Got 219 fuel. I think that'll be more than enough. We never did use the energy crystals for all the hassle of the damage to that soil uh, and trying to repair it afterwards. We've not used those energy crystals, but it's been nice to have those um, available to us. Yeah, we've got 183 first aid kits. That's incredible. 81 ale. Lots of tea. Uh, only four coffee. Only four cereal coffee. Do we have any grain left? We do. Which one is the cereal coffee? Yeah, we should probably bump that up in the list here. There we go. So hopefully um, Emily will get working on that. And she's looking for some, making some bread next. Yeah, and everything else is fine. Okay, Jack, it's very late for you to be out scavenging. I wonder what he's going to get. Let's go and watch what he, uh, what he finds. If he gets a chance to finish it in time, of course. Ready with the pause button, make sure he carries it back, whatever it is. Jack, could you haul the metal, please? I knew he was going to do that.
Right, let's jump back over to Emmeline and Annette. Emmeline's sitting. You've still got your chair here. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and wait. Yeah, I'm 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 it's funny that the um, chairs keep the owner, but I don't think the beds do. No, they switch immediately back to shared. Interesting. Oh, two ladies have gone to bed. Uh, where is Jack? You still running back with this stuff? You are. You're going to be tired. You're in mild pain. Your movement's only at 60%. I am going to get Jack to take one of these stimulants. So we'll get him to do that after he's dropped off the scrap. And uh, hopefully that'll help him out. Wouldn't be surprised if we get a call from a, a ship soon. If that happens, I'm going to get Jack to answer that as well. So they smoke that. Uh, Jack, why are you going to bed without having a meal? Have something to eat. Uh, what have we got here? Chef's steak, meat pie? Have a meat pie. You're hungry? It does make you miserable if you go to bed now. Nice. Okay. Oh, we've got some aggressive animals. Oh, right, okay. Now, let's see if we can do our trick here. Uh, we've got 30 humming flies. There should be another five somewhere. I think that's good. And then we've got um, four scissor hands. I only see three there. And what else? We've got 12 scarabi. I don't know where the others have spawned in us. Yep, yeah, we've got the 12 scarabi, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure where the others are. They're pretty close to the base. Do I get everyone in nice and early and bring them over or... Hmm, I'm going to let them have some sleep, I think. Let's get Jack in this um, unit here. Emmeline and Annette. Let's get them in the room here. Let me move them around so they're not quite so close together. And Annette, you need to be in here too. And uh, yeah, Jack, what do you, can you see, can we get you to barrage from here, I wonder? It looks like we can. So yeah, let's uh, let's barrage most of the beetles and see if we can draw them in. Oh, that's so good! We should get some flyers coming in there. Jack is going to hunt. That's a problem, isn't it? Let me get him to move here, and I might I might need him to barrage again in a second. Some of these things are coming in, but I don't think he can uh, reach them. I'm going to just do this from this far back. Right, the turrets have uh, switched on. Um, Jack, I, I, I know you, you're you keen. Well, actually, what you're doing there is pretty good. That's pretty helpful, actually. Right, we've got the barrage again available to us. So... Uh, that's about as far as we can go, but I think that'll be close enough. Let's get him to do that first. Right, let's bring him back in. Yeah, they're not all coming over yet, but they are getting a little closer, which is kind of good. I really wonder if I should leap him over here and maybe 
get him to see if he can sort of take a few shots at a few of these. Yeah, it looks like he can. So maybe a bit closer. You might be able to reach this one. Yeah, it looks like you can. Right, let's barrage again. They're probably there. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. That should be bringing a few more of them in. Right, he's actually shooting them now. A couple of them are coming into range. We've only got um, a few left now. Yeah, 12 pliers and a few scarab beetles. I want him to shoot that thing. Oh, he fainted. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, dear. Right, well, they should leave him alone, shouldn't they? They should leave him alone because he's on the floor. And the uh, defences should really start to take care of these. I did not see that happening. Okay, let's just make sure we're, we're good. We're not in any trouble. Jack is still down. Um, we've got a couple left. I'm going to leave our guys in the safe room until these things are taken out. And hopefully... Yeah, we've just got two scarab beetles left. So, yeah, Jack, you, you head off to sleep. You're good. Um, Ermeline... I honestly think you could probably just come here and maybe I'll leave Annette to um, be undraft, undrafted just in case. I think maybe Emily and I can kind of get you out here to come and hunt this uh, last couple of beetles. They, they might be in the traps actually caught here. Yeah, it looks like one's having a nibble on this co uh, concrete foundation. Um, which is unfortunate, but we'll get Emmeline to take care of that now. Get it, Emmeline. It's having a good old nibble. Nice. Okay, undraft. And I want to see how much damage this has taken. <gasps> yeah, a little bit. Okay, so can I get mark that to repair? I mean, it should get repaired, shouldn't it? Integrity. So it's this one. I don't have an option to get that repaired. It needs three cement. Oh, it's already marked. That's why. I think I was a little too keen. Okay, right. Well, let's get those butchered because that is insect meat. I uh, don't know where the other ones are. I can't believe Jack fainted. Oh my god. Get that butchered. Oh no, that one's okay. We can get that one butchered. Yeah, Jack's sleeping. Sorry about that, Jack. That was probably because I got him to um, eat that meat pie last night. Rather than going to bed. I didn't let him sleep at all, did I? Probably didn't need to do that at all, but... Whatever. He survived. Not a, not a problem. I might get a net to board this, actually. Um, let me get a net to mount this and we'll get her to move it for us. Move it back into position over here. It's too valuable. We need that on hand. It's a nice gate here she can use. Ooh, we've got a security signal. The site of a recent crash started emitting an automated high-frequency security signal. The codes are characteristic to the military modules. The signal is either coming from a ship's defence systems or from an onboard reconnaissance vessels. Okay. We've done one of those before, I think. I'm trying to remember what they're kind of good for, so I can't quite recall right now. But we'll get Annette to leap into there. She looks good in this, I've got to say. And you can undraft and dismount. And Jackie's coming to repair. Okay. 
Thank you, Jack. I'm so sorry you uh, flaked out there. Worked you a bit too hard. That was that was quite easy, wasn't it? So you oh you're actually butchering everything because they're all marked to butcher. Um, I could cancel those. We don't want those really. Um, I just want those um, scissor hands, I think. We'll let the uh, let all the wildlife have the rest of them. Risk of meltdown, Jack. Yeah. Okay. What what are you going to do now, Jack? Uh, you're hungry, moderate pain, and tired. So you're having something to eat. Once you've done that, smoke, some stimulants, and then go to bed. Okay. And that should sort you out, hopefully. I mean, you're not too bad. The warning's gone off the screen now, anyway. Let me um, cancel all of these, the butcher. This is the only issue, I guess, with doing it this way. Is you get them uh, heading out to go and butcher automatically. And when you're short on people, you don't really want to sort of spend that time. Right, he's off to bed. So he'll be happy. Emmeline's off to play darts. Yeah, I will definitely next time in, in the next season. Spend some time uh, getting them a rec room put together so they don't have to stand outside. He's standing very close to that dartboard. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, the heat has come on again. It's minus three outdoors. And five indoors, not too bad. Yep, 12 in there. Whose bed's this? Uh, we can turn that off, can't we? And the light. If I can select it. And I can turn the light off in here. Again, if I can select it. Did I turn the heater off in this room? I did. Good. Okay. We're waiting for this signal. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to send someone on an expedition as soon as we got that security signal thing. But anyway, we we'll wait for morning. And let's see what tomorrow brings. Good morning. I think Jack is having a lie in. I do not blame you, Jack. Off to get some breakfast. Yeah, Annette's uh, just chilling in the room back there. Yeah, and Emily is uh, having a ratatouille, is that? Or is that a pie, a pizza? Might be a pizza. You're well fed, your meal was exquisite. Yeah, well, you are a good cook, Emily. You could haul these things if you like. These things that are lying on the floor. Annette's playing the handpan while Jack's trying to get some sleep. Okay, that's made her happy. Oh, we have a spaceship. Right, um, Annette, come and contact this thing. And let's see what happens here. I think we might start to have some problems with people getting tired here. They've got a lot to do. Just going to slow it down for this bit. Right, a supply office offer. The passing by spaceship is a trade vessel that can't take any passengers on board. They're offering to send some uh, consumables we could have. <gasps> Antibiotics, ale, or emergency rations. Let's have some rations. Thank you, spaceship. That's very kind of you. That will be very helpful. Let's turn all of these off and see if we can get a screenshot of the parachute coming down. Unfortunately, the sky is not great for a good screenshot, but I'll take it. There we go, a couple of screenshots. 
Okay, well that's something, I guess. Now, Emmeline, you're butchering. Isn't it funny the way they choose to walk in between the two fences? Mm. Yeah, what are you up to now, Jack? You are going around and switching things off, which is good. This one is actually still on as well. Oh no, that's in their room. Ignore me. It needs to be warmer in there, that's fine. Okay, you're transporting ale. We've got so much ale. I think we could probably cancel some of these things now so that they uh, they don't spend their time doing it. Oh, he got to that one before I could. Uh, we don't want any wine. We don't need any pickles. Uh, I'll leave the antibiotics recipe on there just in case. And there's that one in the background. Yep, we're, we're done with those, really. Nice, okay, you're scavenging. Where are you off to? Oh, getting the, um... Getting this out of this crate. Love that they just hammer it with a, a little hammer. And it opens up. It's so funny. There's some... is that chicken? Raw poultry meat. Oh my god, 55. They don't like it, doesn't give them happiness. Uh, we've got an animal attack. Right, so... Let's see, it looks like a couple of these are sleepy. There they are. We'll get those hunted. Um, I guess if, um, I don't know, I need to probably get everyone to be kind of central to maybe the defences, maybe if I, who's, who's not uh, tired? How do I tell? You're tired. You're in moderate pain. I, I'm, I know this is not ideal. Let me get you, damn it, Jack. Mount, Annette. I may as well get them to come and, you know, stand around here and wait for these things to make their way over. Okay, that looks like they're hitting the fence and walking around, so that's good. And that might be, well, might well be because we're um, walking to the entrance anyway, so... Now that one is having a nibble of the fence, okay. So I need to get somebody around there. Uh, Annette, can you come over here maybe? Oh, that one's running, look at it. But they've got some speed on them. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, we didn't even need the rest of you. Uh, right, Jack, I need to get you sort of centred back in here again. Facing the right way. Let me bring you down here and then turn you around. And then undraft and dismount. Thank you. Get to sleep. Because it's late. Go and get yourself some food. So I don't want these butchered. Uh, maybe there's a bit of damage on this one here. Let's see. Yeah, a tiny bit of damage on there. I don't think we need to re repair that yet. Okay. I like the um, survival meals. That's pretty good. So if we send Emmeline, we know there's going to be plenty of food. In fact, look at this. We've got 60 meals in stock now. Do we send Emmeline next and leave Annette and, and Jack? Hmm. What skills do these two people have? Let's have a quick look. So you're the only one who's good at crafting, I think. Apart from Jack. Farming and physical. Yeah, you've got a farming skill as well. Not as good as Emmeline. Your combat is indifferent. And you've got a higher intellect. I might send em Emmeline next. Is that controversial? Maybe. I've got to decide. The time's going to come. 
Right, 25 minutes into the recording, what are they going to throw at us next? Agreed with Emmeline about combat tactics. Oh, how is our uh, power doing? Yeah, we're catching up again. That's good. Right, so let's give each person. We've got Eminem. Let's give this to Annette. And let's get this to Jack. Yep. Yeah. Yep, Eminem is cooking away again. Yeah, honestly, I'm thinking Eminem. Because Annette is, is good at crafting. You're not good at construction, but then neither is Emmeline. Farming five versus three. Two versus three. Intellect two. You've got a better physical screw. No, I think it's going to have to be Annette. Look at this. This bird is eating um, a, a, a pretty inappropriate part of that, but that's a uh, or whatever it's called. Right, Annette's off to sleep. Emmeline and Jack having a meal. We've got nothing in here we need to take care of. Three degrees in the crafting room. It's really just a waiting game now. Until we get the next offer or an attack. Got a malfunctioned wall lamp. Yeah, we need to get you to... Uh, Get to sleep in it. I'm really tempted. Well, I'm really torn between these two. Physical six, but what would I re what would I need physical for? I'm going to send Annette because she doesn't move around as quickly as Emmeline. And I think that might be critical if something really bad happens and she has to go and run around and do stuff. It's it's going to be better to have Emily on the uh, available, I think. Another day, year five. Wow. <laughs> when are we going to get that next call? Tasty meal. Lovely bright day. No rain or storms or anything. It's pretty good. Emily is still cooking. You notice we've not um, lost any of the um, the crops. I think this stuff is probably frozen. Yeah, we're not getting anything hauled in either. Um, handling. Okay, um, better pause that up. I think that's a wedding, isn't it? Um, let's have a quick look. Haul in. Is it harvest? Deliver? Transporting. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to put that up to two. Um, maybe one on uh, Jack as well. Right, let's see what this is. A cause for celebration. Annette and I have been in love and engaged for what seems like an eternity. Uh, we think it's time to seal our relationship in a makeshift ceremony. We can gather around the wedding arch and celebrate being in love at 1400. Of course, go ahead. So, do I need to free up their schedules again? Possibly. Um, so, anything or relax. Relax, maybe? Let's give them a couple of hours in the middle of the day. And then we'll draft them up and get them there. Where is Jack? You're scavenging. Oh, quite, quite a way away. Are you bringing that back with you? You are. Get that back nice and quick. You haven't got long before the wedding. I might even get these two and get them down here by the wedding arch. <laughs> no, that's a bit early. 
Um, let's get Jack down here as well. And it's 1400, quick! Go, go and have the wedding. Uh, you guys, I need to undraft you. Wait, have, have the wedding. Have I done it? Yes! Marion and Ned. Marion, Emmeline. And Jackie's attending next to the doggy. We've got a lot of aggressive animals, unfortunately. Look at the stew! <laughs> Hurry up, guys. Just saying. Emmeline and Nanette got married. Perfect. Right. Oh, my goodness. Um, that's quite a big group. Where are they? Oh, they're, f they're far away. 30 flyers. Okay, we might need to keep an eye on this for sure. I don't know if I can mark all of these. There's 20, 21 there. Another 17 there. And these are very slow. There's 16 of those. Oh, they're dead. That's interesting. A couple died, maybe. Got, got attacked on the way in or something. So Emily and Annette got married. That is good news. We've got some aggressive animals. Um, Jack, where are you now? You're transporting some of that. That is perfect. Right, I am wondering... Oh, look at that over there. I, you can see them so much clearer when you do this. Definitely helps. I've got to keep an eye on these. Right, they're coming. So, let's get everybody drafted. And we'll get them all, I guess, in the room. Yeah, let's get that done. Nice and quick, please. And we'll let the defences take care of most of this. The flyers are just going to fl absolutely flood in here, aren't they? We might have a couple of injuries here if they don't get in quickly enough. Get in, guys. Yep, get in. Jack and that, get in. Okay, awesome. All right, now this is the uh, defences should take care of most of this stuff. Which is pretty cool. Going to have some damage to repair. Okay. Let's kind of move some people around, shall we? No, they're looking okay. Can you, uh, you guys, can you see this one? You missed. Yep, you've got that one. Okay, so we've just got the 16 big things coming in now. Oh, <gasps> look at them. Wow. Um, okay, Jack, I think I'm going to have to get you in. Um, how tired are you? You are tired. You'll be okay for the moment, I think. And who's this? Let's get you in there. And uh, do we have time? Uh, Annette, um, Emmeline. Emmeline's in that room. Which should be okay, I think. Okay, let's see how this goes. The defences should start to really pick off a few of these now. Annette's walking over, so is Jaya. Look at Annette there. We've only got four of them left, so I think it's okay. One left. That one over there. Annette's got that one, I think. Yeah, perfect. Right, Jack, before you fall over again. Let's get you back in here. There's a lot of mess around. So let's undraft and dismount. Um, you, newlywed, can come over here. You have your wedding night. So I don't want to keep you. And um, Emmeline again. Yeah, you can go too. Look at the state of this place. Right, I have to unmark all of these now. So, can I do that here? Council orders, I can. Like that. Uh, I need to do it again. 
cancel orders. So it's a one time swipe. Yeah, I think that works. I don't think there's anything left. No, that's good. Yeah, these carcasses are very slowly decaying. Look at the state of it now. Yeah, they should be gone very soon. Well, good job, guys. So, oh, dev uh, damage devices. Oh my god, yeah. We want that repaired for sure. Let's flick through all of these. Uh, that'll be fine. Uh, that'll be fine. Honestly, that's fine too. Uh, that's fine. I'm just trying to see what, what's what. That's fine. Oh, yep, that needs repair. That's the one we clicked earlier. So that's everything. Really not too much at all. Damaged structures, tall metal window. We could repair that. Carbon wall, carbon wall, carbon wall. Okay, happy with that. So Jack will get to that in the morning, I guess. Really waiting on this next signal. Yep, they're still appreciating those shroom torches. They love those shroom torches. They just get overjoyed by them, don't they? It's really odd. Okay, the heaters are on. You're repairing the window first. Yeah, this little room has, has just been a great addition to our defences. I think next time I will make it a bit more square so it's easier to click a group into it. Um, it's quite narrow and I think um, when you've got a group of three, four or five, six people um, they, they tend to sort of overhang the edges so that'll be good to see. Yeah. Right, tacky on source. Our sensors are re reacting to repeating bursts of tachyon radiation. Through some effort and pinpointing, we were able to locate the source nearby. Most curious. Don't think I'm going to send anyone out on another expedition. I think it's too late in the game now. You're finishing your previous meal. Yeah, they're all pretty happy with the food, aren't they? Still got a fair bit of variety. Don't think there's anything that's really been left. They're getting through most tasks still. Garden, obviously. Um, if we had to be here an, a whole nother year, uh, I reckon we might be in a bit of trouble with some of the crops, but could always swap things, some things around. I mean, Annette now is assembling items that we don't really need right now, so we could definitely switch things up a bit. Yeah, so Emmeline, stay with Jack and Annette go, I think. Are they happy? Are they happy together? Uh, hungry, tired, was angered by Emmeline, was annoyed by Emmeline. Well, um, should we get Jack to contact the ship this time? And I'm going to send Annette, if this is an offer. It is an offer! Yes. Yeah, they're not getting on, maybe. Rescue pod available. So, Annette, while you are in that room, let me get you to drop that and to drop that no that's Jack god damn it Jack where are you oh I'm so sorry Jack um let me get you to <laughs> silly me pick that up pick that up right Annette need you to take that and to take that so sorry Jack Insufficient storage. Annette is unarmed. We'll let them have a bit of a sleep. Got this stuff all over the place. Wait, once Annette gets up. 
I'm not even going to let you have a meal. Off you go. And then there were two. Come on, Annette. 4am. 5am. Right, go on board. I'm sad to leave my love behind, but... Off you go. Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. My lover went away. Oh, Emmeline was upset about that. Okay. My lover went away. Yeah, married Annette gave you a plus 40. <laughs> and then I sent her away. Whoops. Oh, well, you had a bit of time together. That's all good. Another battery. Good grief. Oh, wow, look at all of these. There's an awful lot of animals just lying dead around this place. Thank goodness for these. They come in and clean, clean up these carcasses. And it's mainly these little things here. The pan cough. Cloth. Cough. And these are the bone crushers. Okay. Wait, Jack, why are you heading all the way over there? Um. Oh, okay. I think this could be... Oh, it's it's where you dropped it, where I... um. Yeah, it's where I um, drafted you before when you just dropped the stuff on the floor, I guess. That's fine. Yeah, we're down to two people. And uh, we're about the 40-odd minute mark in this video, so I reckon this is probably a good time to leave this episode and we will come back and see if we can get another survivor rescued in the next one. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.